I love bad behavior, folks. But not when it gets as bad as this. I'm speaking about the situation, the ongoing situation that's occurring with the mass murder suspect in Las Vegas. And it's important to note that we have to be aware of dangerous people in our society, people who are willing to harm us and hurt us because of their own personal dysfunction. And clearly this was a disturbed act, clearly. But I want you people to think about all of the instances where you fail to recognize the possible danger you could face from another individual. I'm sure this person had family members and friends and maybe was employed somewhere, probably on a dating site somewhere. And many of you people encountered this particular individual throughout their life. And you had no idea that they'd be willing to maim and harm as many people as possible because of their distorted thinking. So you have to be careful. This is one of those come to, you know, to the light moments where I'm trying to let you people understand that I'm always aware. Will I be able to be prevent something from occurring? No, no. But being prepared is what I mostly talk to you guys about. And it's important because that may save your life one day. You know, we've seen many instances where people have harmed children. We've seen instances where people have done all types of things in this world. And it keeps happening. And that's telling me that we have some really, really, really serious work to do as far as humanity is concerned. We don't know what set this person off. It doesn't really matter at this point. And like I keep telling you guys, it's not, it doesn't really matter. The important thing to focus on is safety. You know? This person killed many people completely unsuspecting. They were going about their days, enjoying their life. Some people were traveling, visiting, had no idea that such a tragedy would occur on, that, on this day, but it, it's happened. And it's, it's so serious and it's so scary that the person that you're sitting next to on the bus or in your job, or sometimes even your own personal, you know, your family members in your own personal lives. You have to be willing to pay attention to things. You know, I was driving earlier today and I happened to notice something very strange, an anomalous situation where I saw something in the sky and it wasn't really high up in the sky. It was literally sitting no higher than a traffic light, maybe a few 10, 20 feet higher than the traffic stop light. And there were people going about their day and no one stopped and, and you know, I didn't see any brake lights go on, happen. No one got out of their cars to, to inspect or see what this thing was or, or anything. Because people are, are just not mindful of things. You know, I was the only one out there on a busy road trying to figure out why there's something hovering above the stoplight. And that's a perfect example because that is how most people think. The people that were around me who, who never noticed these things, they have too much going on in their busy lives. The game's coming on. I got to get home. I got a hot date tonight. Got to get home. But what if something happens that prevents you from going home tonight? And that's what I want you guys to really focus on. The danger, it's real. I'm not just talking to you guys about danger because I wanna, you know, 
incite fear in you. This is real. This is the reality. Many people lost their lives in this incident. This is this was a very tragic incident. And we see these all the time. We, when is the next one going to happen? That's the question you guys should be asking yourselves. Because you don't want to get... You don't want to have an opportunity to experience, you know, such a tumultuous event. You don't want to have this happen. You know? Pay attention to suspicious activity in your neighborhoods, on your jobs, and be willing to report people when appropriate. Don't worry about that snitching stuff. That's that's the type of stuff that fails you know, to help in these situations when someone is hell bent on murdering large volumes of people for no reason. Because they're dysfunctional. So I want you people, because I'm not going to take a whole lot of time to talk about this, but most of you people in the world out there are watching this unfold, you know, for those who have, you know, who had family members involved in this, who passed, you know, my condolences to you. But I hope you guys learn something from these moments. Be safe. Be prepared. Okay? Y'all like the videos and share them. And we'll be talking soon. And maybe about more, you know, after I get more developments um from this this case but i want you guys to really for really take care take heed to that and take